There has been an update on Tommy Lee versus Paula Abdul eyeglass wear battle and fame cats came and made a public announcement on their page as well as Paula posted it on hers as well. It looks like there's some truth in what Tommy Lee was saying. To further explain this, the company Famecast that I was doing business with, I gave them the model, I gave them the idea, the design, cat eye that I wanted to do, that I wanted to put. You can take a phone call from your from your lenses, from your frames. Created that, dropped it. They then went behind my back and had Paula to now push it as her own and change the name of my frame. Punch my Adios Smart Sunglasses called Idolize. Look at these. You can play your favorite playlist, listen to your favorite podcasts. You can accept your own personal phone calls. And the quality of the audio is impeccable. I'm so excited to be here and for everyone to try Idolize. And to all the ignorant people in the back, just like making it like, oh, she didn't. Yes, I did. And I have all the, I have patent my name my lens my shape my style public service announcement from famecast famecast came onto their social media platform and posted a letter from the ceo and this is what he had to say on behalf of famecast media i would like to correct the record regarding recent statements and accusations that have been made on social media and in the press about Paula Abdul and her relationship with Famecast. No design used in Miss Abdul's custom collection of fashion audio, idolized glasses was stolen by Miss Abdul. And my suggestion to the contrary is simply untrue. I want to unequivocally ensure the public and most importantly miss abdul's millions of fans that miss abdul was an unwitting victim of an honest error made by famecast in connection with its promotion of idolized collection we at famecast feel awful and i as the famecast ceo am personally mortified that Miss Abdul has been unfairly targeted by one of our Famecast former influencers as a result of Famecast conduct. To be clear, Miss Abdul has worked closely and extensively with Famecast for months to design her custom idolized collection, and the style and audio features of that collection are unique to Miss Abdul and no one else. Prior to the recent accusations by an individual with whom Famecast previously did business, Miss Abdul was never told about Famecast association with that individual, nor did she have any knowledge of the potential design that Famecast had worked on with that creator. As Famecast CEO, I wish to personally apologize to Miss Abdul for the fact that she has been dragged into an unfortunate situation that she had nothing to do with. Miss Abdul deserved better from us and we let her down. We have the utmost respect for Miss Abdul and are committed to never letting something like this happen again. Rex Wong, CEO from Famecast Media. Well, what do you guys think? Was that an admission to possibly using Tommy Lee's ideas for Paula Abdul's glasses? Well, you guys definitely comment below. Tell me what you think. I definitely want to hear from you. Well, does it sound like an admission of guilt on Famecast's behalf? And isn't it funny that they did not mention Tommy Lee's name, but we all know who they are referring to? Listen, this is getting bigger and bigger. But 
comment below, share your thoughts, tell me what you think. Do you think they're admitting to doing something wrong and using Tommy Lee's? Comment 55 if you think so. If not, comment 45. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.